I am uh, Nandini Nair. I am a transplant cardiologist uh, working at Sacred Heart Medical Center, Spokane, Washington. Uh, I just presented a paper on the use of microRNAs in peripartum cardiomyopathy. Uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy is a uh, disease that causes significant morbidity and mortality in patients um, at a young age and it can hit them uh, any time in the last month of pregnancy up to five months post-pregnancy and postpartum. Um, so um, the newer uh, literature on the disease and how it can be diagnosed and probably used for treatment uh, of this uh, condition uh, opens up a whole new pathway of how we can treat uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy and probably uh, diagnose uh, the disease much earlier. Uh, we are trying to establish a treatment algorithm uh, for this disease uh, where we can be going to try and identify the high-risk women um, using echocardiography and strain rate imaging to, uh, uh, to bring out the characteristics of the disease if it's present early on so that we can then start aggressively treating them with the standard heart failure therapies or and or use uh, uh, peripartum specific therapies if available. Um, this is important because uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy actually uh, if untreated uh, can lead to uh, uh, patients requiring mechanical circulatory support or cardiac transplantation in the long run. Only 50% of the women recover and they are pro prohibited from having uh, a uh, second pregnancy. If they do go into a second pregnancy, they will, the, the cardiomyopathy is bound to recur. So uh, this protocol that we're trying to evolve was discussed at this presentation today at the International Academy of Cardiology Annual Scientific Sessions 2015, uh, the 20th World Congress on Heart Disease held here in Vancouver, British Columbia.